So let's start drawing a first frame of the window, the main frame and that will be attached to the wall. So I will go to the exterior elevation and select sweep. Uh, because I want to control the size of the sweep, I need to create a profile, rectangular profile first. So we will nest a new family. We did that at the sweep lesson, but let, let us now do it uh, on our own step by step. So I will go to new family and search for metric profile template. This is the most basic one uh, of the templates of the families uh, in general because it consists only of lines. So we need to draw just a simple line loop and we can also parameterize it. So I will draw a rectangle, activate a chain command and try to draw it very fast. Make it symmetrical here and here. Okay, so this will be B and this will be H. That's all. We uh, It's good to save this family. I created a rectangle profile already. I will just overwrite this one. So now I can load it into the project, but actually I, uh, I can also load it into another family. So when I select this one, I, I'm actually loading it into this window family and I can check loaded family in the project browser under profile. There is my rectangle profile family. Now let's go back to the exterior elevation and again, go back to sweep. I will sketch a path and the thing is that uh, when I'm sketching, I can also uh, set a ref work plane for the sketch. So it's very useful because I created this window offset from wall face reference plane. And now I can draw and lock all the padlocks. If I go to the 3D view, we can see that this path is inside of the wall exactly on the reference plane that I drew before. So now we need to set a profile and it will be a rectangular profile here. Um, this profile is very big but later we will take care of it. Now we just need to focus on position it color correctly. So you see that I have horizontal and vertical profile offset there. This time I will just try to rotate it minus 90 degrees. Okay. And I can offset it a little bit. So it actually matches the reference plane. So I will offset this for, I don't know, let's say minus 20 now. I just need to check whether I should offset it positive or with a negative value. So let's say minus 100. Okay. So it moves in this direction. For now, I will finish this mode. Check the sweep. Yeah, this is too big. But if I go to the rectangle profile there and right click on it and select, sorry, double click on it, there is type properties of this profile visible. And now we can connect the existing parameters in the rectangle profile to the families to parameters of this window. So I can also everywhere, uh, anywhere when we see this small rectangle, it means that we can associate a family parameter. So I will create a new parameter called frame width and this will be a frame height. Okay. Let's maybe ch uh, change to some more reasonable values like, I don't know, 50 by 60 and click apply. Okay, so we have now the window frame uh, ready. Let's go back to the left elevation and check how it's positioned according to this reference plane. 
this is the reference plane and I want to keep the face of the frame alongside this window offset from wall. So how would I do this? When I select the sweep, I have a possibility to parameterize offsets vertical or horizontal. You see the same small rectangles there. But if I, uh, when I was in the um, edit sweep mode, generating the sweep, there were also these parameters, but, but these rectangles were not visible. So these properties I can parameterize after I finish and accept the, the sweep. So let's say zero for now. So it should be offsetted the half width of the frame. I will keep it minus 40 for now and create a new parameter. Okay, so now let's go back and create a formula. Frame offset vertical should be formula. I can use a formula by uh, using the other parameters name. So I entering the formula, the most basic one divided by two. We have all, also other mathematical functions like minus, um, asterisk means multiply and slash is uh, division. So it's the same as in other software like Excel. I guess you, you will know how to use them, of course. Mm, so I will divide it by two and click apply. But I need to keep it as a minus. So I will use a minus at the beginning. So now this offset is driven by the formula. We could uh, make it uh, maybe in a more clean method by simply going back to the rectangle profile edit and actually position it, for example, not according symmetrically, but move it here. So we could have just simply attached it to this, uh, this quarter of the reference planes. This would be B, this would be H. Let's test it 100 by 100. What will happen? It worked. So if I went back and override the existing version, I wouldn't actually need this offset anymore. If I zero it, yeah. It works. So uh, I'm showing you this only because um, there is always, uh, you should always look for the most uh, simple solution there is. So you see, this is more simple than creating some formulas and additional parameter. This way I can get, simply get rid of it. Now we can also test the position uh, offset from the wall, let's change it to 50. It works and we will add another one uh, parameter which is material frame. You see I'm selecting under which uh, group uh, this parameter will be listed and this is materials and finishes and when we go to family types there is material and finishes and it's material frame, frame there. I will assign the material just so when I'm in a 3D view then I can see more uh, of what I've created.